Hello! Today we will show how to do a basic workstation build with EK ProLine. For demonstration we have a build here with two GPUs and one CPU that is water-cooled with EK Pro lineup of products. Liquid cooled loop like this consists of a CPU block and a GPU block. Both of these blocks act as a cooler to the CPU and the GPU. Heat is transferred to the liquid that is circulating the loop. And to dissipate that heat we need a radiator with fans, which acts as a heat exchanger. To push that liquid around the loop we also need a liquid pump and a reservoir that is conveniently nestled inside this combo unit. As this is a pro line we also have a manifold integrated inside the combo unit. Manifold is used to spread out the liquid flow evenly across all the loop elements. Here we have a smaller version EK Pro Pump Reservoir Manifold X3. This bigger version is the X6. X3 and X6 stand for how many sets of ports it has on the manifold. As this combo unit has three sets of ports, each set of port is used for a different product in the loop. This set is used for, for example for a radiator, this one for a GPU and this one for a CPU. As the X6 version has a double set of those ports, these two for example would be used for a radiator, these two for a two GPUs and these two for a CPU. In this case only one set is used for a CPU as this one is empty as this board doesn't have two CPUs. To expand the workstation loop like this we use quick disconnect couplings, QDCs. With a simple push of a button the line disconnects and the QDCs hold the liquid securely without any leakage. We are using industrial grade ZMT soft tubing which is cut to the needed length and secured onto the barbed fitting with a clamp like this. This setup allows us to easily swap components in the loop such as a GPU in just a few minutes. Let me show you. Now that we understand the basics of the loop, let's look at each component in detail. We'll start by disassembling the loop to see how it works. First, let's focus on the CPU block. This is a CPU water block and the ProLine offers models that fit specific motherboards. We also have a version for popular consumer sockets like AM5 and LGA1700, which are ideal for budget-friendly workstation builds. The same applies to GPUs. Here we have professional-grade GPUs with EK Pro GPU blocks. And here we have a consumer version for the 4090 GPU. The Pro block is usually a single slot version, if feasible. Let me show you how easy it is to mount a GPU block to the GPU. It is straightforward and not something to worry about. Each block comes with an instruction manual, available in electronic format, for convenience. Following the manual from start to finish will make the process easy. Here we have a Zutok 4090 with its compatible Pro Water block. This version is popular due to the, its cost effectiveness compared to the server grade GPUs. Blocks come in a normal and rack versions. Rack version will also uh, have the mounting point and in some cases it will have the terminal which is in this case uh, on the upper part will have it on the side part. For this block we have a normal version. So we have a side terminal for ease of use. First, we need to remove the stock air cooler. With instructions and pictures provided in the manual, we can do that very easy. Let's quickly remove it to access the PCB. Once the PCB is out, clean it by wiping off any remnants of the original thermal compound and removing any leftover stock thermal pads. Next, prepare the GPU water block. 
cut and place the thermal pads onto the block according to the instructions. This step can be a bit fiddly, but we plan to improve it with the pre-cut thermal pads in the future. Don't forget to take the foil from both sides of the thermal pads. Apply new thermal grease and place the PCB onto the block. Screw in all the screws as directed in the manual, which also includes a diagram showing which holes to use and which to leave out for the backplate. Finally, prepare the backplate with thermal pads and screw it onto the block. Let's move on to the rest of the loop, focusing on the radiator fan assembly and combo unit. The EK Pro radiator comes in common sizes of 360 and 480 mm. It features two sets of ports for flexibility and easier loop building. Fans can be mounted on the front or the back of the radiator. And if space permits, you can install fans on both sides for push-pull configuration, which enhances cooling performance. The number of radiators in your loop depends on your PC case, its airflow and fans used. To maximize cooling performance, position fans as intake on the radiator and, if possible, use a pull configuration to draw air through the radiator, which can slightly improve cooling efficiency. EK's FPT fans are ideal for radiators as they are optimized for static pressure. Generally, for one CPU and one GPU, a single radiator is usually sufficient. For dual CPU and dual GPU setups, two radiators are recommended. And for expanding to four GPUs, three radiators are typically needed. For complex and larger loops, our engineers can assist through a support ticket to determine the cooling requirements for your setup. Now, let's discuss the combo unit, which includes a pump, a reservoir, and a manifold. The D5 pump offers reliable performance and strong flow. The reservoir is used to fill the system and feed the loop while providing a view of the liquid level. The manifold simplifies the loop by distributing coolant flow evenly through the loop. The X6 combo unit features pairs of ports for radiators, GPUs and CPUs, 
allowing liquid flow to run in parallel through these components. With this unit, you could also support up to 4 GPUs if the CPU remains air-cooled. We plan to release the X11 dual pump unit, suitable for 2 CPUs, 4 GPUs and 3 radiators. Alternatively, you can opt for individual components, such as dual D5 pump, separate reservoir and separate manifold. We have a manifold with up to 10 pairs of ports, allowing cooling for 2 CPUs and 8 GPUs in a single loop. Lastly, let's talk about fittings, tubing and coolant. We use industrial-grade ZMT tubing, which is durable, does not degrade and is affordable. To connect the tubing to loop components, you'll need PARP fittings and clamps. The clamps are securely attached using special pliers. Quick disconnect couplings QDCs, are also used for easy removal of components without any coolant leakage, making maintenance and loop adjustments straightforward. For the coolant, we recommend EK Cryofuel Clear. It's long-lasting, contains corrosion inhibitors, has low electrical conductivity and is compatible with EK loop components. Before filling the loop, make sure to pressure test it using the EK leak tester. To fill the loop, fill the reservoir and turn the pump on, continuing to add coolant until the loop is full. In combo unit, the fill port is at the top and the drain port is at the bottom. That covers the basics of assembling the loop. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.